Sorry, all circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? This is the pouch I carry in my get home bag. It is my comms bag. As you can see, my good friend Hank has gifted me with the comms proper pouch patch for the top. So we're going to be opening and showing you what we've got inside. Now, the first thing to come out is the ham radio, my bow thing. It's the UV5R. Everyone knows about this. It is so cheap and quality for what you get. It's, it's remarkable. It really, really is an astonishing piece of kit. Um, before I go any further, I haven't got a ham radio license, so I'm fully aware that I am not, by law, allowed to transmit. But there's nothing stopping me from um, receiving information. Now, there's all sorts of information on the internet that you can find about tuning into frequencies and listening to what is going on out there. Okay, and you know, you can actually extend that aerial antenna to bigger and brighter things, shall we say. Okay, so, that's the ham radio there. Now, all we've got with it is we've got this really, really cool lead by Nagoya. Now, all this does is um, just gives you more um, signal strength rather than just the, the basic one that comes with it. Now the, the reviews on YouTube um, seem very, very good on this item, so that is what I decided to get. And because of its size, it's not a problem, you can just store it like that. And it actually folds out straight, and that's been in there for around a year now. And it's just remarkable how cool these um, antennas are. So that is the um, a more suitable antenna for it. We have a screwdriver which can um, take it apart and to check stuff, just in case. We've got the battery, which is fully charged and ready to go. Now, it is worth bearing in mind that every maybe month or six weeks, just check it. Yeah, just put a meter on there just to see how much juice is in there. What you don't want to do is just leave it for six months or so, like I did initially and neglect it, and they did lose a little bit of power. So you want to make sure that that is topped up at all times, because you never know when you're going to use it, and you never know how long you're going to be using it for. And you're going to wish to God that you're giving yourself a best chance for making sure your battery is fully charged. Okay, so I don't tend to store all the batteries in there for that purpose, that's why I separated them, keeping them apart from each other so you don't get any negative discharge. And we've got a little clip there that's awesome. With the screwdriver, you put that back on and you can clip that um, anywhere to your smock, and then um, straight away you've got a comms close at hand. Okay. We've also got all of these different um, USB leads, all different variants, and there's a good reason for these leads. All of these are interchangeable with the charging unit. Now this is by RAV Power. Awesome bit of kit. It's an amazing 23,000 milliamp hours stored in there. And the same rule applies, as I mentioned with this. Make sure you check it, okay? Now these do tend to wear out quicker than these for some reason, I don't know why. But I have been made aware by um, Richie, a um, fellow subscriber to my channel, that these are no good in the cold, okay? They're no good in the cold. Um, when you buy these, it does come with like a, a, a very small amount of insulation, like a felt pouch, which is designed to keep the cold away from it. But it's effective to a point. Um, it's not ideal. Personally, if you are going to cold environments, I would put something like this in about two or three um, bubble wrap bags or something, just to keep um, the cold off of it. Um, store it in the Bergen if you are going in cold environments, but make sure it's in the middle of all your kit, not on the pouch on the outside where the cold's going to get to it first. If it's wrapped up in jumpers, towels, socks, etc., it's going to stand um, more chance of surviving in extreme cold. Okay, so this stays in my Bergen, which stays in the vehicle, so it is pretty much right in the middle of my kit, so it is protected from that extent. Anyway, I don't want to go on too much about it. This is the charging device, okay? Now you have options of how 
this is charged. Hence, I've given myself that way of charging it and that way of charging it. Either of them work. And for an output device, that will go on most mobile phones or smartphones all over the world and charge it. And this is an awesome piece of kit. It really does hold a lot of juice. You know, I've, I've done reviews on this before and um, they're a good product. But the only downside is, is they don't hold their charge for that long. You do have to top them up every six weeks, at least every six weeks. And they're no good in the cold. But you know, for spring, summer, autumn, these are perfect, you know. But in winter, just go careful how you store them. But conveniently, in this Vanquist pouch, it stores in there absolutely perfectly. I couldn't say no. Um, if, if, if this was going into a never come home bag, everything would be the same. I probably wouldn't take that. I'll probably take my um, Goal Zero um, solar charger with its um, little Guy 10 Plus kit, which I can constantly recharge all the time. Once that's run out, that's knackered, unless you can find another power source which has power, which you can transfer the power onto this to store it again. You might be lucky, you might not, but for a long term, I wouldn't choose this. This is just a short term solution designed for three to five days. Okay? That is my communications or comms pouch which lives in my get home bag. And before I forget, there's a desk charger there. So once this is all popped back together, that drops in there and charges via this lead into this battery pack. So that is the reason why that's in there. It needs that lead to charge it. And um, it's a shame you can't bypass this and charge it directly. It really is a shame because carrying that around in a small pouch isn't ideal if I'm honest. And um, I don't really fancy the idea of taking it all apart and risk, you know, making its lifespan a lot shorter than what it actually is. So there you have it. That is my communications pouch, which I nearly forgot about that. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay funky. Uh -huh.